So as some of you may know, on the 17th of September, Royal Enfield hosted their one ride event for 2023. And I was fortunate enough to go along and take part in my local event. And thanks to Royal Enfield and my local dealer, Bob Minion, I got the chance to try out a classic 350 as well. Um, so without further ado, I'll bring you along and let's see what it's all about. So the day started off arriving at Bob Minion's early in the morning for a coffee, a chat, to meet some of the organisers and some friendly faces from Royal Enfield, and of course, to have a look at the other bikes we'd be riding with later on that day. As you can see here, we had an amazing turnout and it was really great to meet so many people and get to chat to everyone about why they're so passionate about Royal Enfield bikes. Upon arrival, we were issued with these little pamphlets and the back showed the itinerary and which group we're in. So we're all split up into four groups to make it a bit more manageable for each marshal and the itinerary showed a breakdown of the times we'd be departing, when we'd be getting lunch, and what time we're expected to arrive back at the store. As you can see on the centre, we also had a very useful map of the route. So as you can see, we started off in Derby and headed up the A6. We then split off through Worksworth, past Chatsworth, up through the Peak Districts and then looping back down on ourselves to the Monsell Head Hotel. Uh, the One Ride 2023. Uh, just a, a couple of things before we set off. Um, has everybody uh, got a group or a, a rider colour to go with? Yeah. If not, in a minute just grab me or Gavin. Uh, we're going to set off in four groups with a little bit of a gap. We'll all obviously stick to the same route. Uh, but just because there's so many of us, it'll make it a little bit easier for it to control. Uh, and we're going to have a big group photo when we get up to Monsell Head. So we'll round everybody up for that. Um, and the people, if anybody would like everybody to come back to the shop where we've got some caps to give out and some stickers and things. But obviously if anybody lives up around Matlock or whatnot, then see you later and we'll get the caps given out to you. Um, let's have a nice steady ride today. Um, in your groups, try and keep together. If somebody is dropping off the person in front, it's fine to overtake as long as it's sensible and keep as, as close together as you can. There's a few junctions that might be a little bit tricky, uh, but we'll always sort of slow down and pull over and let people grab up together. So yeah, I think that's a Shortly after the briefing, it was time to depart. So we geared up, and got ready to head out. But the first challenge we would face is trying to navigate through Derby city centre. Thankfully, it wasn't too long until we were out the hustle and bustle of Derby city centre and started to explore some of the country roads that Royal Enfield and Bob Minion had planned out for us. During the ride we got to experience some of the stunning scenery that the Peak District has to offer and we even caught a glimpse of the iconic Chatsworth House building as well. views only got better as we approached our destination for lunch which was the Monsell Head Hotel. As it overlooks the White Peak Valley in the Peak District, I couldn't think of a better place to stop for a spot of lunch. As I pulled into the car park, 
I was faced with my next challenge, and that was finding a space and then putting the bike on its side stand. As you can see, I had quite a lot of trouble trying to find it as I wasn't used to the placement of where the side stand was. With the bike finally secured on its side stand and try not to feel too embarrassed about the whole thing, I set off to catch up with some of the other riders and check out the other bikes. As the next few groups arrived, they had an opportunity to line up and get a photo next to the Royal Enfield Riders Club flags. We then all gathered round at the back of the hotel for a group photo with the stunning White Peak Valley in the background. With a group selfie in the bag, we headed inside to grab some refreshments, a bite to eat, and get ready for the talk delivered by Dean Coxon, who's one of the Royal Enfield engineers. In December 2021, Dean and a crew of support engineers ventured to the South Pole, becoming the first people to reach 90 degrees south by motorcycle. Dean gave us really interesting insight into what it was like to be on the trip, and Royal Enfield have actually released a full video series on their YouTube channel detailing the adventure and I highly recommend people go check it out. After the talk, it wasn't long until we hit the road again. As we set off back to Derby, I reflected on some of the things that Dean said and started to plan my own adventures, as soon as I've got my bike back that is. around this point in the day on the ride home that something in me clicked and I understood why the classic 350 was such an iconic bike and everyone had such positive reviews about it. It's a simple stripped back bike with enough power for day to day use and it's absolutely perfect for just bimbling around the country lanes. As we made our way through Matlock, I started to notice quite a few of the Enfield riders passing me on the opposite side of the road, and it very quickly became evident that we had to take a slight detour due to an unexpected road closure. see here the road closure caused a bit of unexpected excitement however it did give us an opportunity to meet up with some of the riders that were behind us and finish the ride off as a big group
So there we were, just back where we left off earlier on that day. Overall, the one thing that really struck me about the day is the sense of community with the other Royal Enfield owners. I've not quite seen this with other bike brands and I'm really proud to say that I'm a Royal Enfield owner and we've got such a strong community behind us. Mm -hmm.